Hey everybody, welcome to Jessica Smith TV. Today's episode is a high step strength circuit. So what you're gonna need is a step. You can take it higher if you want to. I'm using three risers. Three or four is a little high. The higher you go, the higher the intensity. So make it work for you if you wanna keep it lower, totally fine. Two sets of hand weights. I'm working with tens and fives. You're gonna pick two that work with your level. If you only have one set, that's absolutely fine too. So we're gonna warm up here with just a march right behind that step because we're gonna start to move that march into a V-step. Peanut, I put your bed out here, you have to go to my mat. <laughs> here we go, V-step, right, left, right outside of that step, good. So I'm working with a half step, but for those of you that might have a long step, just make sure it's facing you vertically so you can easily straddle the back just like I'm doing here. Let's add a little squat reaching towards the top of that step. Now, depending on how high your step is, you may or may not get close to tapping it, and that's fine, just get as low as you can. Two more. Now we're gonna step out and hold that squat. Give me a little pulse. Push your hips back. Check that those knees are behind your toes. Now checking with your spine here too. We don't wanna round forward, so open up the back. Good. Now we're gonna throw those arms overhead and extend the spine, looks like this. We come up, tap down, try it with me. Lift and back. So I'm doing a little extension through my back, reaching those arms back and overhead. Lift. Good, let's do four more like that. It's four, three, two, last one. Take it down, now hold it. I want you to place your hands firmly on top of your step. You're pressing away from it with your chest and your arms. The right leg is gonna lunge back. Drop your hips. Step back to your squat. Keep the hips low. Left leg, take it back. Drop the hips. Come back to that squat. Good. Now give that to me on a two count. Take it back with the right. Two, squat two. Right, other side, out and in. Good. Do it again. Back and in. One more time with that two count. Now let's go for singles. Step it back, center, back, center. Now as we're moving quicker, check in with your arms. Make sure they haven't started to melt. You're pushing firmly into that step through both palms. Beautiful, now step the right foot back and hold it. Let's take a little stretch. Reaching up with that left arm, open up to the ceiling. Lower that arm through. Step that left foot back to your right. Hold your plank position, abs in tight. Line up those shoulders right over your hands. Feeling the heat building in our body here. We're still just in warm up mode. Lunge your right foot forward, drop those hips. Stretch up with that arm, take a breath. Good. Take it back down. Line up those hands under the shoulders, step back to plank. Good. Now we're just gonna pike the hips up for two, come back to your plank for two. Now you gotta keep a little pressure on that step so it doesn't move away from you. Lift up, come down. Good. Exhale and inhale. Two more, up, tighten your abs more as the hips come down. Last one. Now give me a little knee into that step. We're gonna rev that heart right now. Really want you to start to feel the work here. Abs are in tight, good. Get ready to run this for me. Here we go, kick it up, let's go. Run it in, in. Keep your shoulders over your hands, run it strong. Give me four more, three more, two more. Run your feet into your step. March it out left, right. <sighs> I'm starting to sweat, how about you? Good, so you're marching with that left foot leading because we're gonna go through all that one more time with the left lead. Get ready for that V step. Here we go, left, right. Straddle the back of that step, good. So before I forget, I want to say a very special thank you to Motion Tracks, who's providing this nice energetic music for us to work out to today. Thank you guys, we appreciate it. Let's add that squat and tap it back. Good. So now that you're warmer, see if your legs will let you go a little lower in that squat. Still keeping it safe. Still keeping great form though. Good. Four more, then we'll hold it. Two more. Straddle, hold that squat. Pulse it down. 
Really drop your hips nice and low. Let's throw those arms overhead, extend that spine. Lift, lower, good. So you can take your eyes up and back if you like. Really press the pelvis forward, reach. Sweep it up, you got it. Two more, here we go, lift. Now take it down, we're gonna hold this one at the bottom, pressing firmly into that step, you know this. Step back with that left leg into that lunge for two. Center squat, right leg, two. Let's go right into those single counts. Step back, center, back, center. Keep your arms strong into that step. Yep, good. Just four more, Peanut. Four, three. She's like, who are you talking to, Mom? Last one. Take your left leg back and hold it. Give me that stretch, breathe. Come back to the center. Squat, switch legs, open up and stretch. She loves when I start bouncing around, talking to no one. Take the hand back. Now we're gonna go back to your plank. Step back, abs in tight. Give me that knee to the step. So don't let your shoulders start to creep behind your hands. Stay strong in that upper body, especially as we get faster. Let's run this out. Go one, two. Shoulders over the hands, use your core. Four, three, come on, two, hold the plank, pike the hips, inhale, exhale, good, lift and stretch, contract those abs, press back, exhale, you got this guys, come on, two more, last one, we're going to hold that plank for a second, stay there, Walk your feet into the step, hands on your thighs, roll it on up. Okay, I think we are warm. Let's go get our light set of weights first. We're gonna pick them up. We're gonna start with a side stepping squat. So go ahead and put your left foot in the center of your step. You're gonna hold those weights right in front of your chest or your shoulders. So I'm gonna start you off with one option. Take it up to another one only if you feel ready. So you're gonna sit back in your hips, give me a squat. Press overhead with those weights. So my weight is even between both feet, even though I've got that one foot elevated here. Two more, then we're gonna add a little side step up with that right leg looks like this. Push up, good. Now I know my head is getting cut off here from your picture, but my arms have stayed the same. All I'm doing is stepping that right foot all the way on top of the step to my left. Heart rate is spiking even more. Remember, if you need to hold it on the floor, that's fine. Four more here. Two. Last one, hold it up. So if you're on the floor, step up on top of that step, bring your feet together, give me a narrow squat. I call this our eagle raise. Your arms come out. We're gonna come halfway up out of that narrow squat, Open the arms, release, breathe. So you're spreading your wings like a giant eagle, but you're keeping the spine long, back is flat, and you're just coming up in line with the shoulders at the top. I want you to squeeze through that upper back, pull the shoulder blades back and together, keep your eyes focused on the floor, back of the neck nice and long. Are we feeling this? I know, I am too. Just four more, please. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it down. Come on up slow. You ready for the other side? Step it down. Basic level one first. Down, push. Same thing. We got another set right away. Good, four more. Then you have the option, only optional. If you want to add the step, are you ready? Let's do it. Push up. Bring the feet all the way together. Step all the way on top of that step. Keep it safe. Uh huh? Come on, give me eight more here. Eight. Seven. Don't lose your squat. Four more. You can hear it in my voice. We're getting some cardio in. Hold it up, 
squeeze feet together knees together reach flatten out your back take a deep long breath let's go eagle open down chin to the chest back of the neck long use your upper back now if you really start to fatigue alternate sides instead of stopping try to hang on to those weights I feel you too come on keep going eight seven six watch your elbows they're just slightly bent here four oh boy three come on two last one you did it come up carefully step off the step take a breath so we don't need extra cardio in here it's built in with that high step right I want you to grab one heavy dumbbell meet me behind your step so you're gonna start with that right foot in the middle of the step lunging down through the legs which means both knees are bending at 90 degrees I'm gonna turn on an angle so you can see it put your other hand on your back so you make sure you're not rounding forward that's real important low lunge palm turns forward give me a back row pull so remember you have options you can hang out here the whole set if you like but you may have guessed it we're gonna add a little tap up with the back foot looks like this you're gonna come back to your lunge position and you're gonna keep that front knee bent the entire time so this is not the move you don't come up you stay down pull with your back I need eight more seven six five four three two last one great job straddle that step you're gonna tap your left foot on top both hands hold that weight overhead put all your weight in that standing foot this foot is nice and light elbows in chin drop press overhead now you know that you can stay right here or we're gonna take that left leg and we're gonna extend it out we're gonna tap it back to the top of that step oh boy most important part though is what your upper body's doing so relax your neck make sure your elbows are in close to your head don't let this happen press up reach out so the lower body secondary concentrate on that upper half four three two last one Woo. come back behind that step set it up on the other side switch arms switch legs hand on that low back take a deep breath get in your low lunge reach forward rotate that palm pull breathe good come on we're gonna be breathing heavy this entire circuit getting the cardio effect too as we build lean metabolically active muscle at the tap if you can don't lose your lunge if you add that tap okay rotate that palm forward really pull with your back you got this come on eight seven I'm feeling it too six five four oh my goodness three two more last one yeah come on down beautiful take a breath so we're switching legs standing on that left foot nice and strong tapping the right toe light weight is center elbows in let's go reach chin to the chest yep elbows in make sure you got your form before you even think about adding that leg extension if you want to try it reach tap standing knees a little soft to help you balance Good. come on we got this last eight seven six five four 
three, two more, come on. Last one. Yeah, nice job. Okay, carefully bring that weight down. You good? I hope I'm not the only one breathing heavy like this. You better be working too. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the chest. We're gonna do some push-ups, so sorry. So, let me move this over so I'm not in Princess Peanut's way. Your feet are gonna be on the step. Your hands are on the floor. Now, decline is a little more intense than flat on the ground. So, if you wanna make it easier, you can do it on an incline with your hands on the step instead. Or, always come back to modified with the knees on the floor. So we're gonna start off coming down on one count and pressing up for three. So drop your body down. One, push, two, three. Do it again. Two. This is three. Four. So let your hips sag. Five. Oh boy, we can do this. Six. Seven. Need one more, you can do it. Great job, carefully step down. Take a second to breathe. Are you good? Okay, let's grab one light dumbbell. Have a seat on your step. And we're gonna do a little bicep boat. So we're gonna do a little curl and pass. Start with the feet light on the step. You're gonna hinge back, curl the weight, switch hands. Sit up into it, hinge back. Now, I'm not gonna go that far back because I want my back to stay real straight here. So even a subtle range of motion should really work that abdominal wall if we do it correctly. Keep it slow. Up, two, down, two. Now, if you feel like more of a challenge here, you can try lifting those feet, hinging back further. So you gotta bring the weight in a little closer to get out of the way of the legs. But don't round that spine. Five, reach. Four, reach. Give me two more passes. Peanut is tired for us. Last one. Pass it off to the other hand. Bring it down. Breathe, you did it, nice job. Now face me, you're not done yet. We got one more in this set. I want you to go ahead and shift your weight into your legs. Stand on up, so you're in front of your step. We're gonna start standing on the left leg. Weight should be in your left hand. Tap the toes. Now, slow and low. Come down, two, three, push up. Down, two, three, push up. Sit back in your hips. Get as close to the top of your step as you can. On the way up, add a curl. Down, two, three, palm up. Elbow squeezes in. Down, two, three, squeeze, good. Now, if you wanna make it harder, at the top, you're gonna lift that knee. Come down, slow, pull up. So we're resisting gravity with all those muscles. Down, two, three, up. Good, are you with me? Make sure you're not leaning to the side as you reach. Four, pull, three more. I'm feeling this all the way down into my ankle and my feet. Two, good, last one. All those balancing muscles. Beautiful, now let's go ahead and switch sides while we're here. We're gonna go right into their side. Tap that toe, take a breath. Just the legs. It's down, two, three, up. So shoulders are square. Hips are square and behind you. Drive them back. Don't collapse forward in your squat. So you want to drive back with the hip. Down, up, two, three. Sit back. Slow to grow back up. And down. Pull. Elbow squeezes in tight. Never touching the body with the weight. Anytime you want to try it. Lift that leg. Down, up, 
two, three, good. So we're doing opposite what we did on the first side. Just mixing it up a little bit. So we're working on the lifting phase rather than the lowering phase. Not to worry, we're gonna come back to this. Last one. Great job, guys. Okay, round two. Set the weights down. You knew we were gonna have to do a second set of those push-ups, right? Feet or hands on top of that step. Make it work for you. Abs in tight. Ready? Down quick, up slow. One. Two. Three. Four, five, I'm starting to slide here, so I'm gonna put my hands on the mat. Six, seven, one more. Beautiful, all right. Let's go back to that one heavy weight. Bicep boat pass. So, let's start with that back hand. Toes tapping or lifted. Back, sit up with those abs. Mm -hmm. Now since we have the form down a little better, we're gonna go just a little bit faster with this, but we're gonna keep that control. Here we go, take it back, up. Good, down, squeeze. Don't round the spine, come on. Stay strong. Hold. Five, four, three, two, last one. Great job, guys. Let's turn it forward. We're gonna start with the right leg. Stand on up, switch your hands. Tap that toe. So we're gonna come down slow, up nice and quick. So it's down, two, add your curl right away. Down, two, three, power up. One more here with the practice. And if you want, add the leg. Down, two, three, lift it. Down, two, three, lift. Sit back in your hips, come on. Shoulders are square. Two, one more. Great job, quickly switch sides. Get ready, tap the toe. So we come down, up, two, three. Down, up, two, more like this. Then we'll add that leg. One more here. Add the leg if you'd like. Oh. Sit back in those hips. Pull it up. Good. Come on, you got it. Down. Squeeze. Two. One more. Here we go. Awesome work, you guys. All right, let's move on. So we are going to go back to our lighter weights. Oh, joy. So what you're going to do for me is step forward with one leg. It doesn't matter which one it's going to be. Back leg is going to be long. Elbows are in, you're going to kick back. Squeeze. So I'm kind of in a little fencer's lunge. Just the front knee is bending over my ankle. Press back. Elbows are nice and high. They're staying in one spot on that kickback. Good. Squeeze. Four more here. Three more here. Two more. Now stand on that front leg, come up on top of that step. Just tap your toe back behind you. Arms are back. You're gonna press behind your body. Press. So you can keep that toe tapped right where it is, or you're gonna come down and up. Light little tap. Watch your knee. It's not a high leg lift. It's more about tapping the floor with your big toe, 
like you're testing the temperature of the ground. So it's not this, different. Most of my weight stays in that standing leg. That may happen. Take it down, push, four more. Two more. Oh yeah, last one. Great job, now face me. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me better. We're gonna take the leg behind the body, holding it, flexing the foot, arms are in front, push back. Inhale, exhale, tap the top of the step if you need it. Good, now work in that core, drive the knee in front of the hip. Inhale, exhale. Oh yeah, that standing leg is talking to us. Hello, standing leg. Inhale, and exhale. So that front raise just goes out in front of your shoulders, your palms face the floor the entire time. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Good. Press just two more like that. Last one, guys. Awesome job. Step it back. Shake it out. Just walk. You good? All right. We're gonna do a little basic step up. Up, down, up, down. Getting the heart pumping again. Good, give me a little hammer curl. Up, up, down, down. You can go faster than this. You can go slower than this. I want you to get on the center of the top of that step. No heels hanging off. Check your posture, check your spine. There's nothing wrong with looking at your step, but don't let your body start to round forward to look at it too. You just need your eyes. Good. Four more. Two more. Last one. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna scoot my chest step over. So, fencers lunge. Going back to those triceps. Okay. Here we go, elbows back, extend, reach back, good. Now it's the other leg's turn to get all that work. Press, good. Send your knuckles to the wall that's behind you. Reach, don't throw those weights, come on. Abs support your back, don't let your spine round, don't let your shoulders collapse. Hang tight with me, four more, three more. Two, last one. Shift your weight onto that standing leg. Tap that back foot. Push back. Good. Press back. So for now, we're just tapping the toe or pointing the toe close to the step. So only if you feel ready, add your dip down, press back. So remember, it's more about the standing leg than the lifting leg. You're testing the temperature of the floor. So where that nice high step comes in handy. So we have a greater range of motion to tap the floor with. Oh joy, push, final four, two, one more. Hold it up, I'm just gonna turn to face you. So we're gonna tap that leg behind and hold it. Inhale forward, exhale back. So my weights are gonna go behind my body a little bit. Ooh, I need to tap that step. This leg is a little weaker for me for balance. Whenever you wanna try it, drive that knee in front of your hip. Inhale, exhale. Keep your spine tall. Your core is strong, helping you with that balance. You gotta control those weights here. Keep your arms reaching out. Inhale, exhale, abs pull in tighter. Whew, yeah, good. Come on guys, we got this. We're gonna get there together. Here's our final four. Four, push. This is three. Give me two more, come on. Inhale. And exhale, last one, you can do it. Nice work, carefully step behind, march it out, 
Get ready for your basic step up. Ready? Up, up, left, right. All the way on top. Don't worry about matching the music perfectly. Take the time that you need to step all the way on top of your step, especially if it's higher. Hammer curl when you're ready. Up for two, down. And again, because we're moving a little quick, watch those weights don't start to swing around. Elbows in by your sides. Spine is real tall here. Good. Final four. Two more. Last one. Awesome job, good, okay. So let's move on, setting those weights down. I'm gonna take a second to breathe while we set up for the floor. So I'm just gonna move this over a little. Princess Peanut, here's your bone. She's totally bored, okay. So for those of you that want to, you might wanna put a towel or something on top of your step because we're gonna put our elbow on top of it next. And we're gonna keep one of those light weights. So elbow plank on an incline, a little easier than on the floor. So you're gonna step both legs out and just hold that plank position for me. Yes or no, you good? Now you can also do this without weight if this gets too tough, but we're gonna reach under and come up. Exhale, inhale, less reps, lots of control here. Another way to make it easier, drop your bottom knee, keep your top shoulder lined up over your elbow. That's gonna also help here. You're lifting with those obliques. We're gonna do one more here. Oh yeah, great job. Okay, come on down, set the weight down, have a seat on that step. We are not done with your triceps, I'm sorry. So hands just outside of your hips. Fingertips, fingertips facing your body. Walk your legs out. Give me a little dip, but I want you to think up. Small range of motion. Now, the reason I like this smaller range of motion is it allows us to kind of tap more into the triceps without doing that and rotating the shoulders in or putting too much pressure on the wrists. Think up, up, up. Hips are close to the step. You make it easier by bringing your feet closer. You make it harder with them further out. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, have a seat here. So we wanna go far enough away from our step that we're not gonna run into it. So we're gonna lift the legs up. We have a seated bicycle twist, looks like this, you twist. Keep the back nice and straight. Rotate through the shoulders. Reach those legs out. Easier option, get rid of the leg. Focus on the twist. There we go. Hard to jump back in there sometimes. Eight, six, and four, three, two. Release it, cross your legs. Take a little stretch forward. Are you ready to do those on the other side? Of course you are, okay. I'm gonna slide my step over. So we're gonna go back to that side plank position on the elbow. So remember your options here. We're only gonna do eight, really slow and controlled. Drop that bottom knee anytime you need it. Hold it, are you there? Check that shoulder, make sure it's not back here. Here we go, one, breathe, two, my forearm is pushing firmly into that step. Three, up, four, lift, five, you can do this, six, come on, two more. Last one, here we go. Great job, you guys, come on down carefully. Set the weight down, tricep time, so you know what to do now. Feet closer, further out. Small range of motion. Think up, up. Now, if your feet are further out, don't let this start to happen. Keep your booty close to your step so that the resistance goes into the back of your arms. That's where we want it, not in the shoulders. 
I know I'm getting tired too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat. Seated bicycle twist, feet lifted or on the floor, your call. Turn to me first, here we go. Twist. I love how exhausted Peanut looks. She looks how we feel right about now, doesn't she? You can take a nap after this soon. Cause we're almost done. Good. Eight, six, four, three, two, last one. You got it guys. All right, we're gonna wrap up. We need to do one more set for our chest. We haven't done much for the chest. So your feet are gonna be on top of your step and you're gonna grab both of those heavy dumbbells. So scoot in until your legs are on top of your step at about a 90 degree angle. And again, that's gonna depend on the actual height of your step. So let me move my microphone over. So we're laying on the back. Knees bent, my feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna dig my heels into that step like I'm wearing spurs on the back of my sneakers. Engage your hamstrings. So before you even lift your hips, those hamstrings are working. Elbows are out to the sides, but they're hovering above the floor. You're gonna press your hips up, extend your arms, rotate the palms into the head at the top. So we lift for two, come down for two. So as you press, your palms turn in towards your face. Exhale, inhale. They face you, they rotate away from you. Lift, dig into that step. You wanna press down, not out. So that step doesn't start to tilt. Good. Press. You got it. Four more slow. Three more. Two more here. Last one, really control it. Awesome work, guys. Elbows into your sides. I want you to press down with your back. So shoulders are down, elbows are pressing down. Back leg is gonna come up as straight as it can. Flex your foot. You're gonna drive the hips up, tap down, up, tap down. Push with the back side of your entire body here. Switch legs, push it up. Press those elbows down, press the heel down. One more set on both sides. Eight, seven, six. My step is so slippery from my sweat. Four, three, two, one more. Switch legs, last set of eight. Keep pressing down. Five, four, three, two more. Last one. Yes, good job. All right, so let's go ahead and sit up. Set your weights down. Home stretch, everybody. So we're facing that step. Your hands are on either side of it. You can go on the hands and the knees. You can go out to modified plank or to full. We're gonna walk it up. Up, up, down, down. Lead with the same side. One more here. Switch, lead, arms. Back arm goes first. Slow, push. Get on top of that step strong. One more. Hold it. Lower to your knees. Sit back. Stretch and relax. You guys, we made it to the end. Let's take a quick stretch to wrap up. So we are going to come forward from here. We're going to step forward with one leg. Lunge into that front leg. So we stretch the back thigh and the back hip. You have that step here to help you. Good, extend the leg, straighten it out. 
Grab the toe if you can reach. Carefully bring your knees together. Step that back leg forward. Shift all your weight off that back knee. Really sink the hips in towards your step. Shift back. Stretching the toes back if you can, if you want to. Bring the leg in. I'm gonna have a seat on top of that step. Just go ahead and face into me. How you doing? Okay, let's cross the leg over. Open the knee out to the side. Just use your body weight to help open up those hips. Okay, so there wasn't really much planned cardio in there, but we sure did get some cardio in, didn't we? Stack your knees, sit up tall, twist. A lot of strengthening, building stamina and endurance through the muscles, but also got a nice cardio effect today. Switch legs, open it out, hinge forward. Stack those knees, sit nice and tall. Come center, hands on your thighs. I want you to just hinge forward from your hips, interlace your fingers behind you, drop your head, drop your neck, relax your shoulders. Open up that chest, nice and slow, come up with a flat back. Step those feet apart a little wider, press your pelvis forward, extend, let's line that spine back up. Come center, one arm across your body, drop your shoulder, drop your ear, pull that elbow behind your head, chin to the chest, other side, reach, breathe, drop that ear, take it up, chin to the chest, take a nice deep breath in, kind of shake everything out, relax. Go get some water. Thank you so much for working so hard with me today, and I look forward to our next workout. See you tomorrow.